Odin Borson is one of the most powerful characters, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He ruled Asgard for thousands of years. In 965 AD, Odin led the Asgardians to victory in the war with the Frost Giants, and found baby Loki abandoned in a temple, Odin brought Loki back to Asgard and raised him as a son with Thor. But soon Loki realized that the throne was for his brother Thor. From then on, he became jealous of Thor and did many evil things. But then came another sad period in Loki's life, when Loki learned that he was actually a frost giant, Loki then took advantage of Odin banishing Thor to Earth, and the Allfather succumbing to the Odin's leaf to rule Asgard. But Thor returns to Asgard and uncovers Loki's ruse, he later tried to conquer Earth in the Avengers, but failed again. He was then taken back to Asgard by his brother as a prisoner. Later, when Malekith attacks Asgard, Loki fakes his own death and tricks everyone, while Thor was busy stopping Malekith and the Dark Elves. Loki somehow enchanted Odin, and sent him to Earth despite the Norse god king being far more powerful, Odin lost his memory, and Loki left him at the Shady Acres care home, in New York City while the god of mischief posed as the Allfather, and commissioned whimsical plays in Loki's honor. But the main question is, how Loki was able to enchant or manipulate someone so powerful like Odin. In the first Thor movie, we saw Odin preparing to crown Thor as the new king of Asgard, if Odin was still at the peak of his power, he wouldn't have tried to pass the throne to his son, especially it's because Thor clearly lacks the humility, and judgment to be a king at this time. We knew Asgardians are stronger and lives longer than normal humans, but they are not immortal. Odin even scolded Loki in the dark world that, we are not God. We're born, we live, we die, just as humans do. Odin experienced several plunders and disasters, in the short six years before his death, the frost giants invade Thor and steal the ancient casket of winters, while in the dark world, the dark elves attack and murder Frigga, he even said that he could no longer let Hela go into exile, and that she would come to conquer Asgard, if Odin had exerted his full power, these events would be unlikely to occur. Frost giants and dark elves run amok in Asgard, showing that Odin is no longer at the peak of his powers as king, we know Loki is one of the smartest characters in the Marvel Universe, he knew Odin could no longer protect his mind from his magic, Thor is also busy protecting the Nine Realms, and Frega is dead, so this is the perfect time for Loki, to show his power in the Dark World. At this point, no matter how powerful Odin is compared to Loki, he is emotionally fragile and easy prey for the God of Mischief. Perhaps, on a deeper level, Odin wanted to remain in exile. So what are your thoughts about this? Do you think Loki has become the strongest and powerful superhero in MCU? Let me know in the comments, and watch this video to see, top 5 insane magical feats of Loki, and make sure to subscribe nowhere official and press the bell icon to get notified when I post new videos. See you till next time.